Welcome back to Ice Heavy Beauty, and I am Ice Heavy. Today we are creating this beautiful soft glam look. I did use the Anastasia Lafayette Hills Soft Glam Palette. I've been loving this palette since I purchased it. <laughs> but you guys, before we get all into this beautiful look, I want you guys to look down, hit the subscribe button, give your girl a big thumbs up. Make sure you leave me some comments. Hit that good old notification bell so you never miss an upload. So now, let's enjoy some makeup. So we are using the Anastasia APH Soft Glam Palette. I am going into that shade Burnt Orange. I am taking that above the crease on both eyes and I'm going to blend it out really good. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Now I am going into the shade Orange Soda and we are taking that around the edges of burnt orange, just blending it out, just to soften it up. We want this look just to be very blended and very soft since it is a soft glam look. Now we are going into the shade Cypress Umber and we are taking that on the in the crease area and just blending it out. It's in the crease area and over some and we're just taking small amounts, blending it out, packing on the shade, blending it out, diffusing it and we just repeat these steps over and over until we get the perfect shade. Stay up all night, kissing under street lights, doing what we want to, doing what we need to do. Staying up all night, everything is alright. Oh, I wanna be with you. Oh, I wanna be with you. Let me be the someone who can hold your hand. I don't even know if you can understand how you make me feel. I got you. In So we are cutting a crease. I am using the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Warm Sand. And I am just cutting this crease. I'm going into the shade Dusty Rose. It's a mauve type shade. Love it. We're going to take that all over the crease. And then we're going to take the shade Cypress Umber. That's the deeper shade we put in our crease. We're going to blend it in some. And I believe we're going to either go into burnt orange or orange soda. And just, you know, to keep it from looking so um, 
harsh and go in and soften those things up. You guys are going to see it in the video. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though. Want to hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me. Get next to me. All that I want is to get next to you. Get next to you. Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are golden. No gold, you see. What do you got? So take a chance. Take a chance on me. It's magical. Now I am going into my foundation stick by Hourglass. It is golden amber and it's the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. I absolutely adore this foundation. I really, really enjoy it.
Okay, you guys, I'm going to add lashes and I will finish up my hair and I will be right back with the finished look. Hey guys, I am back with my final look. Um, I think this look came out great. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I struggled just a little bit. I almost start to wipe off the entire eyeshadow look and start over. But I persevered. I kept going. And I came out with a beautiful, beautiful look. Um, so today, we did go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. As I told you guys in the intro, I absolutely adore this palette since I opened it. I don't wish I would have opened this palette last year when I purchased it or whenever I got it into the, um, that vault. I haven't opened up any of the other palettes. There was two more palettes in the vault. I haven't opened those, but I need to because, like, this is my favorite palette. Like, I've been using this palette. I think this is the second time I filmed a look with this palette. I'm going to keep using this palette. And this is great for all of you who have this palette and you've run out of ideals for this palette. So my lips, I recorded it, but y'all know me and my editing, I don't know what's going to make it in or what's not. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I have on my lips. Um, I lined my lips first with the NYX Liquid Suede. And what shade is this? It says Downtown Beauty. Now this shade may be too deep if for some of your skin tone so if it is i do also use the the same formula i think this is the this is the nyx lingerie this is the nyx liquid suede but i have this um in the shade corset now i purchased this to actually be a new lip but i just don't like the formula on this like i was going to use this at first but Every time, I just don't like this formula on it. But you could use this shade to line your lips. Or go a few shades lighter than this. Or whatever liner that you normally use to line your lips. I wanted a deeper brown for this. Okay, so then I went into the Fenty Liquid Lip and unbuttoned. And I just put that around. This is how I unbraided. <laughs> so I just went in like around these areas. You guys will see if I don't edit it out because it took me so long on my eyes and stuff. I don't know what's going to make it in here. Y'all know I be trying to make these videos short for y'all. So we'll see. And then I went into like the middle into that part with the Naked Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia Le Beverly Hills. It's the only thing I use this shade for is to unbraid my lips. It's beautiful for that. For anything else, it's just definitely too light for my skin tone. And then I went over it all with the clear gloss. This is just a really, really inexpensive gloss. It's the Shop Miss A gloss lip pop in the shade clear. I think this is the only clear lip gloss that I have. I need to purchase another one. But um, those combined with, you know, of course I have on a blush, bronzer, um, my highlighter, I contour my nose. Anytime I want a really, really, let me tell you a secret. So, I hope this don't be too long for you guys. Y'all know my intros be long, but I try to make this intro short. So, if this is a little long, it's okay. But my secret for, if I want like a really, really beat, beat look, I always beat my nose. I always cream contour my nose. To me, it just puts my look all the way together. I always cream contour my nose. And then whenever I have like, after I set my face and stuff, I always spray setting face to take away that powder effect and... Sometimes I mix in setting sprays in with the foundation just to melt that. Anytime I want like a really, really smooth beat type of look, I have my ways of getting those. If it's just a regular makeup day, I may not do all the steps that I do for like a really beat, beat face. Like sometimes I get on here, I contour my nose with like a bronzer. But if I'm just like, I want a really beat, beat look, I'm going to cream contour in that nose. And it definitely helps bring my look all the way together. But if you guys want any more tips or you want anything else, make sure you mention it. Down in the comments, hit your girl up. This is your girl, Octavia Beauty, signing out. Make sure y'all hit that good notification bell so you never miss an upload. 
and I will holler at you guys later.